Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Conquest Blind! I've been in, in between last episode and this one, I've been do, making my warriors train their butts off. It's, take, it's been actually a long time since they recorded the last episode. And guess what? Eevee is evolving! Finally! Let us see what it becomes. I already told you what it's going to become, but... Dun 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 It is Umbreon! Aw oh, yeah! Yes, finally. It took me so freaking long. You have no idea. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to be Umbreon yet at this point in the game, or... And, wow, I'm overpowered now. Look at that. Oh, and look at Umbreon down there. He looks so cool. Oh, wow. It's weird, but it's not even greater strength. You know, you have the same feeling. Why are my characters suddenly talking now? We, I don't usually talk. Okay, whatever. And then, yeah, Kalita turns. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of... Delegating. I said at one point I wasn't going to do that, but then I was just doing so much training, I was like, screw it! Screw making everyone do things manually. I'm going to delegate everything, but all my main people that I'm going to use, I'll keep an eye on them every turn to make sure there's something they can do. And if there's not, I'll just let the delegation handle what they can do. Um, so, before we fight, uh, not Avia, Valora is the nation we're going to fight, the Steel Nation. Um, yeah, it looks like I so did not finish what I was doing. Uh, because there were some things that didn't work. So, for the first bit of this episode, we are going to do a bit of, uh, mixing around, uh, warriors and mixing around items and showing you what I do between episodes that's incredibly boring. Like, trust me, it's so freaking boring. There is no way I'm doing post-game of this game. People have told me that the post-game is, like, 90% of what this game has to offer. That's unfortunate because this game is making me not want to come back to it, unfortunately. Not because I dislike it, but just because of how tedious everything is. And, and like I have to admit, there are some parts I don't like. Um, so here's what I do. Of all the nations, of, I have four nations right now filled with warriors that I like, I would like to use and that, are, that are, I have used a lot. Um, that was, would be Avia, Illusio, Terrera, and Greenleaf. The same thing, similarly about all those, ex all except for Avia, all of these places have both a Ponagiri shop and a mine. Uh, what I was doing was I was just having them do one or the other depending on which one they needed. But lately now I've just been giving them Ponagiris if they're not at max energy and just letting the delegation do their, make them train a little bit. Not that, Ponagiri. Um, if they're uh, at full energy. So that's what I want to do before we go into Valora. Uh, we're going to make sure everyone's at full energy. Because I don't know if that helps, but I'm just incredibly anal retentive that I need everyone to be that or I am not happy about it. That's all. That's all there is to it. That's just me. Um, so just, just our main people. And then I'm going to do some item switching around. And then we are ready to invade. At least I believe so. <laughs> Someone might drop an energy at, right after I do this, so. Alright, so uh, I'm really excited to use Umbreon. Because I was getting ups I was getting worried that if I had played the game normally and not trained him to Umbreon, he wouldn't be Umbreon for very much of the game. And that's unfortunate. Because I, you know, that's kind of the Pokemon he's meant to, he's meant to be, in my opinion. So, I think that's everyone. Those are my nations with all the people that I actually care about. No offense to all my other warriors in every other nation, but... But yeah, I also I was getting a lot of my random characters their perfect link Pokemon. Not all of them, just some of them. If I happen to find one that I was like, Oh, you're, my, you're the perfect link Pokemon of this person. I'll get you this person. So on and so forth. What's this? Big news, a rare Pokemon is found in the park of Viperia. Really? I've never seen that happen before. What's this rare Pokemon you speak of? Ekans? Mistrieve it? A wild Eevee?! So I can get another Eevee?! That's really interesting! So I can recruit a second Eevee for my main character, or anyone for that matter. But I bet my character is the only one who would have perfect link with the Eeveelutions. That is a really cool idea! Too bad I don't really care! Sorry, like, yeah, too bad I don't really care. Because... Yeah, we're not doing post-game. So, let's equip items on everyone. Harmony Flute, I don't need that. I was just doing that because the Harmony Flute apparently increases your link. 
Uh, raid. And a mirror and a grace potion. Yeah, you guys all have the wrong items completely. I should forget. Don't worry about unequipping. Do I think I'll need the Jigglypuff charm in this one? Or should I go with the metal mirror? Uh, let's go with the metal mirror. So we gotta find. We got four metal mirrors on some of our people. Alright, fine. It was on Carnivine. Alright, um. Let's equip all those metal mirrors and then we were ready to uh, invade. Uh. The you know what place? Valora was its name. The Steel Nation. And I maybe I should explain to everyone I have? <laughs> that could have been something I could do while I was talking about all this, because I was running short of things to say. Wow, obviously I should talk about this. Well, these are all different warriors you've seen throughout the time. Uh, I've evolved all their Pokemon to really strong things. <laughs> um, but basically, fighting and fire are both good against steel, which is where Girder, Embor, and Scrafty come in. Sceptile is specifically for that Quagsire right there, and Grass is good against everyone except Metagross here. By good, I mean regular. And then we got, um, that's about it, actually. Because my other two are just required. I would not bring them, to be honest, if I didn't have to. But, the re another reason I wanted to evolve Umbreon is because we're fighting this Ghost Nation? Yeah. Uh, Eevee would do zero damage to all of these guys, except the Scolipede that they randomly have. So yeah! Time to invade Valora, and we have so much more strength than them, but can't assume anything. Steel, this could be, have lots of, uh, uh, lots of gimmicks, who knows. Gimmicks. Everyone invade! And yeah, also, I'm really happy I got Sceptile. He's really, I like Sceptile in here. Victory or defeat, which will it be? Let us take a gamble. But, I don't know. I don't know if I like Sceptile's attack in this game. It's Leaf Storm, which is very strong, but you lower your attack. Lord of Eleven, at last, I have been waiting most patiently for your arrival. Now, allow me to introduce some of the warriors who serve me. I am Tadakatsu. Wow, you're you're the subordinate? I feel like you're, you should be the guy in charge, Tadakatsu. You even a higher strength than him. And I am Ina, or is it Ina? I don't know. Lord Nobunaga and I are old acquaintances. The idea of betraying him is simply unthinkable. Oh, I don't ask you. I don't want to ask you to betray him. I just want you to stand gr stand your ground and die while I attack you. Oh wow, this is cool music. Sounds like a factory, and that's exactly what this place looks like, huh? I'll show you what I'm made of. And we start half our team starts on that end, half starts on this end. That's not good. And of course, Quagsire is nowhere near Sceptile. At least it's an all-out fighting one. Okay. Um, so how the heck does this work? The cog wheel is something. Um, I bet you the cog- Oh, what is- A camera? They didn't explain a single thing, did they? Well, we shouldn't go this way, see what happens. <laughs> um, what if I attack the cog wheel? It doesn't let me- It doesn't let me do that option. That's not an option. Um... Raptor fly this way. Umbreon go this way. What if you attack this camera? You can't attack this camera. I guess just walk that direction. Um, we can't do anything here. Um. <laughs> oh my god. This is unbelievable. What if I'm just standing on here? Can I attack the cogwheel? Oh my. Um. That's kind of lame, how that had to activate. There was no indication that something was going to activate just by standing on it. Usually you have to attack something or... Oh my god. You know, you know what to do. Yeah, what is she, what is she going to do? Walk over there. Why do you have a Quagsire anyway? <laughs> Alright, so I've opened the path for you. Please go through. Thank you. Hmm... Wow, they're pretty- this is a pretty silly nation. They're all about protect- serving their leader above all else, and not really- Uh, well- Okay, well, Scrafty will take care of that Auron right there! And that chime cho Ah, what?! What's the camera doing?! What are they- <laughs> ah! Alright, well, great, um... And I just realized Thraptor won't be able to activate this cog because he doesn't touch the ground. And wow, that will not do very much damage. 
Why won't that do very much damage? I don't like that at all. Why won't that do very much damage? You're Staraptor! You're really good! Oh, great. Oh, great. Wrong tile, this one. Go ahead, do it, just do it. Just attack Chime Cho. Chime Echo. I don't care how you pronounce it. Okay, that's it over half. That's fine. Um, and But we need Girder to hit that cog for Umbreon to go that way. Girder, stay on this cog. You're probably going to get hit by Chimacho. But that's all I can do. Um, I could use my warrior ability and kill Chimacho this turn, but I don't want to waste it now. I could That could easily come in handy later. All right, Scrabby, take care of this Aron for me. High jump kick! And high jump kick does work just like the main game. If it misses, you get hurt, but... Um, it has pretty high accuracy, so... I'm great over the sacrifices you have made. Let me write that we risk our lives in order to protect- YOU'RE NOT RISKING YOUR LIVES! ARE YOU SERIOUS?! YOU'RE USING YOUR POKEMON TO FIGHT FOR YOU! Oh my god. Okay, this sounded cool at first, but you just killed all- You just completely killed everything you were saying when you just said that. That was really lame that you said that. Alright, um... So if I walk two spaces, will I be able to hit- Metagross, I will not. Um, so you know what? I think I just want them to stay where they are. Um, they're coming to us, this direction. They're clearly coming to us. I want them to be in range for Ember to hit both of them with a Fire Blast. So I'm going to end my turn here. Ember's Fire Blast has a huge attack range, and I guess be Okay. Okay, I guess because I was already standing on it, it moves it regardless if I've actually clicked move or not. Good to know! And Girder's gonna get really hurt, that is fine. Don't worry, Staraptor will finish him off. We're fine. Aggron's going back that way. Metagross is going this way. That's exactly what I wanted. Because I want Embor to take care of him. And Aron's going for Scrafty! Well, great! That's exactly what I wanted Scrafty to go for anyway! And it would be really great if Quagsire went that way so, it's, so he can be in range of Sceptile. Sceptile has to be right next to someone to attack them, though. Um... Intimidate. That's fine. Umbreon, finish off Chimecho. Assurance. The slaps of darkness. Ah, uh, there's no slaps that appear, unless I missed it. Fine, news we made today. <laughs> Alright, Girder, uh, collect this. And you can't do much, can can use the raptor, because you just use Brave Bird. That is fine. Scrafty, take care of this Aron. Give it a try. Wow, we're doing wow, we're doing really great. This is a really lame level in my opinion, but hey, most of these levels are 69, only 79% chance. That sucks. That completely sucks. I guess it is Fire Blast. It doesn't have perfect accuracy, but okay, at least it hit. I'll give you that. At least it hit. Um, hey, Septile, stay on that. Based on what I saw, that will put this back up, making Metagross not attack you. STRATEGY! Do it! and turn! Move- move the cog again! Block Metagross from getting to us! HA 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 HA! HA 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 HA! HA HA HA! Fell for it! Fell for it! Alright, they're so lost, I love it. They're, they have so- they have no idea where they're supposed to be going right now. <laughs> and I have not figured out what the cameras are doing. I think they're just a rotating wall. They could possibly be blocking. I don't, just, I don't know why it's a camera, though. Um, and Girder can't reach the Agron. Darn it. Umbreon can, but he's not going to do very much. Eight! Eight whole damage! Wow! That's sad. Um, hey, what's your war ability, Yoshihiro? Um, how do I figure that out? Can I see your info? Hold on, info. What's Yoshihiro's warrior ability? Um... Uh, metal uh, significantly increases attack. Okay, so not range. That's not good. What's Agron's attack range? Oh my god! Okay, so it looks like he can attack three spaces at once, and it knocks them back one space. Okay, so that's fine. Girder, go right here. And Umbreon, I want you to be right behind Girder so Agron can't knock him back. Um, and Staraptor, you stay here, because I don't want you to get attacked at all. Scrafty, can you reach anyone? No. But I want you to get closer, right? Yes, I want you to get closer to Agron. Get closer to the action. 
All right, now, Sceptile, can you activate the cog in this turn instead of waiting for your turn to pass? You can! Nice! All right, Embor, go this way. I don't think you'll hit Metagross. Darn it. Is there any space you could be at that you'll hit Metagross? No, it doesn't look like it. That's fine. Just go as far as you can. That is fine. That is totally fine. What's quite sure? My father thought it was... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, give it all you have. I wish you were in your septile. <laughs> That's fine. All right, here comes Metagross. What's he going to do? Ow! He's using a steel attack on me. That's not going to do very much. And his power wristband broke. That was his power wristband, I'm assuming. Miss! Ha! You missed, noob. You missed. Gurner, take care of your ground for us. You won't kill it. Okay, that's an interesting note. Scrafty, can you get a hit on it first? Oops, I still have Gurner highlighted. Scrafty, high jump kick. You'll almost kill it. Gurner will finish it off. High jump kick, give it a try. Ha! Take that, and Gurner, you finish it off. 95% chance. I'll take it. Boom. Goodbye, Agron. <laughs> My apologies, Agron. I've let you down. Yes, you put it right in danger and everything. All right. Um, if Staraptor attacks, Umbrian will not be able to attack this turn. Um, how much will Staraptor do? 47? Whereas Umbreon can do... 21. Okay, sorry. Sorry, Umbreon. Looks like Staraptor's going to have to take this attack for you. Do it, Staraptor! Do it! Bam! Yeah, if Umbreon, if they weren't in the way, Umbreon would have been able to do more damage because Assurance does more if they've already been hurt. So, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, I won't be able to hit Quagsire. That is fine. Uh, Embor, take a step back. Blast it! Take this! Fire Blast! Ha! Take that! It's burned! Septile, can you reach him? Darn, you can't. Uh, turn the cog again. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. I'm totally trolling that Metagross. It's, it's to get a die from its burn, I bet. Shackle? What does that do? Oh, it lowers my range. I kind of remember that. Okay. Now it's running away again. <laughs> it's going to die from burn next turn. Ha! Oh, wow. We got this battle all, all tied up. We got this. We totally got this. Tired of, it's tired from using Brave Bird. Yeah, this is not a level for Umbreon at all. <laughs> um, not like at all. Because, yeah. Alright, you'll do 28. How much will Girder do? You will do 20. Oh, but you'll knock him back one space. Perfect. Perfect. I forgot about that. Alright, now that uh, now that happened, how much will Umbreon do now with Assurance? 39. That is more. Um, so yeah, go for it. Why not? Assurance! Boom! And I think that's all we're gonna do on this end. Um, for this side... Septile turned the cog! <laughs> so, all Septile's doing is turning the stupid cog! That is so funny. Alright, I know I won't be able to reach Metagross, but he'll- He'll just die from burn, so I don't care. I just want to get my guys back on the other, other side, so... End my turn here! We got this. We got this. What are you gonna- This will decide the victor! Oh, really? Really? That's a bold statement right there. You think this one attack is gonna decide the victor, huh? Okay. My accuracy and range went down, but just of Umbreon. Ooh, oh! Better goes went this way. Okay. Too bad we have a full team still alive, and you died from burn! Ha! You're done! You are so done! Goodbye. Goodbye and good day. Alright, um, Gurner, go do that again so you can push it back one space so we can have a, a spot open for Umbreon to finish him off. And let's finish it off with a warrior ability! Increase our attack power! Da da da! And how much will we do now? 75. Goodbye! The end! It's a shame Sceptile didn't get to attack at all, but that's fine. Wow. That was a really fun battle. Thank you for that! Really hilarious army who was all about honor and fighting for their lives when, you know, they were using their Pokemon to fight the whole time. And... <laughs> that... Oh my god. I, I thought that was really interesting, that all those people. Um, I don't know why the Battle Gross guy wasn't the leader of that nation.
Just saying. Defeat! Surely not! Bravo, Lord AB11! It would appear that my army was incapable of halting your progress. Now go, Lord AB11. I've been watching you forthcoming battle against Lord Nog with great interest. So you're not going to be with him in the final battle, are you? Darn. I was hoping there'd be some... Darn... Some giant battle at the end with Nobodog and all the warlords that ran away from him. That would be cool and stuff. All right, um, what's up next? Is Spectra is up next. Well, we just got us an Umbreon, which is super effective against this. So, I'll figure out who we're using against Spectra in the next episode. Uh, let me put, let me actually move everyone that's in Kragspur, um, over to, uh, Avia. Just so, uh, you know, Spectra can't claim a, an unmanned nation. And I need to delegate Delegate to train. I have all of them do training, because why not, right? Now that we use any of these people ever anyway, so... Alright, well, that is the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to look forward to the next episode. We're going to invade Spectra, the Ghost Nation. Ooh, spoopy ghosties. So yeah, I hope you look forward to that, and thank you for watching. Rock on.